A record fall in the level of full-time employment in Australia, with the July labour force figures showing nearly 80,000 jobs lost last month. While the reduction was largely offset by a rise in part-time jobs, keeping the unemployment rate steady at 6.9%, the result took some of the gloss off a report by the OECD, which indicates Australia's economy is now the fastest growing in the developed world. The Treasurer was keen to talk up the latest OECD report, which paints a rosy picture of Australia's economic outlook. The Australian economy is strengthening and is stronger than any in the developed world. Although the world economy is weakening, Australia has held up again. On a less positive note though, the latest job figures show that while the unemployment rate remained steady last month at 6.9 per cent, there's been a massive swing from full-time to part-time work with the loss of nearly 80,000 full-time jobs. How can you claim it's good news when you've just presided over the biggest recorded monthly fall in full-time employment ever? The Treasurer says as the economy picks up, uh, so too Dallas, will the job market. We would expect jobs growth to strengthen in 2002. The economy isn't the only issue the government is keen to play up as it prepares for the election. It's also making the most of the current industrial climate. The damaging TriStar strike may be over, but the government isn't about to let the matter rest. The one thing we never heard from the Labor Party was a condemnation of a strike that threw 10,000 fellow Australians out of work. And there's more potential trouble on the horizon. A Sydney communications company is the latest to be targeted by the AMWU over workers' entitlements and the union says the employees are prepared to strike in support of their claims. Oh, absolutely. Our members feel very, very strongly about this issue. The legal um, right to strike as part of an enterprise bargaining arrangement is the only recourse working people have. There seems little doubt, though, that continuing industrial strife poses a much greater threat to Kim Beasley than it does to John Howard. Laurie Wilson reporting for Nightline. The debate.